foundation and I'm going to show you guys how I make my nails um what actually came off so I thought I would share with you guys how I actually shape my press on semi stiletto nails and design them so the nails that I use are artificial press on nails they are by kiss and they are in the active square shape okay no particular reason why I use this kind I just this is what was at the store so I went ahead and got it it comes with all different kind of nail um, sizes and it comes with glue I've already picked out the uh, nail that fits this my pointed finger pretty well okay so all you're gonna do to shape this nail it fits pretty perfect so I don't have to really do any rounding around the back area right here it fits pretty well so all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a fingernail clip and clip off the edges of the nail in a slant like that and I'm gonna do that with the other side and that's gonna give me as you guys see like a little pointed shape Go ahead and put it back onto my nail and it looks nice so now it's time for shaping it i like to shape my nails hold it this way and you guys see that it has like this little edge here and i'm going to start right here and just round that off so we're kind of smoothing that out to where it go doesn't have that little box shape or that sharp edge anymore and i'm going to do the same thing with this side And I kind of just go make make sure the tip is staying nice and maybe not sharp because I like mine's more of an almond shape. So I kind of go over the top and just make sure that you, I'm just shaping them the way that I like. So I'm pretty pleased with this shape. So let's get into designing them. You're going to take a fingernail polish and you're going to get some putty. I usually do it a different way but I don't have the things I need but I just have some putty here and I made a little ball and I'm going to stick that onto the top of the nail I mean, to the top of the actual fingernail polish and I'm just going to put that nail onto that onto that putty alright so this gives me like a really solid base the fingernail polish I use for this, for the blue, is by Zoya, and the name of this polish is called Yummy. I absolutely love this polish. It is my absolute favorite. It's a beautiful blue, blue, beautiful blue. So you guys see, I've already put it on one coat, and what I'm going to do is apply a second coat. we're gonna let okay so our nail is almost basically dry so we're gonna go ahead and start designing our flowers and how I did that was I took three kind of pinks I took a medium color pink a light color pink and a dark color pink along with some white first you're gonna go in with your medium color pink and this is by wet n wild it's the mega last color and the color is in Candy delicious and you're going to go ahead and you're going to just take your pink and you can use the brush if you want and you're just going to make little um little shapes a circle it's not going to it don't have to be perfect I'm messing up So you have your little shapes with your medium pink. Next we're going to go in with our lighter pink. Try my best to make like little C shapes. And so as you see, we're starting to form a little flower. I'm going to wipe that off. 
Now I'm going to go into my darker pink. It's not perfect, but hey, what rose is. So now finally we're going to go into this white. And this is going to give it some more definition. And we're just going to do the same thing. Next, we're going to take a green, and it's not the perfect green, but it's what I have. And this is by Sinful Colors also, and the name of this is called um, Rise and Shine. I'm going to take a dollop of this, because I don't need a lot. And I'm just taking a little paintbrush I got from Michaels. It's just a little paintbrush. So little strokes like that to create some leaves. And it's using a real light hand. Next you're just going to apply your top coat. And you're done.